Hey everybody, Dana Stoven here with the Magic of Somatic Money, and I am doing an update on my 5D money timelines for those of you who are tracking along with me. Remember that energy anomaly at the end of this week? Well, I've got the update for you on this, and I want you to take a look at it. Um, and just for rule of thumb here, uh, tonight it is Tuesday, it's Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and so let's go ahead and take a look at this chart. Okay. Um, so for those of you who are new here, let's just get your bearings. Um, this chart right here that we're looking at is last week. Um, the center was um, the big energy wave was the solar eclipse with Lilith hanging out doing her things in the center of this. We had three gateways with three timeline jumps and the Schumann's um, and, uh, was going off at that point. And then we came off of that. Um, there were some solar there was some solar flare activity going on and then we headed into this week with um, some astrology going on a, you know a little bit of solar flare activity and then we moved back into the back end of this week um, and what my pendulum picked up on was a uh, a gate, an energy gateway here and an energy gateway here also paired up with a timeline jump and timeline jump. At the time that I did the chart, I did not have the information on Hurricane Milton um, who that's going to make landfall um, late on Wednesday and then um, really the full brunt of it happening uh, Thursday into Friday. Well, it was odd to me that we had timelines and gateways um, with, and that's what the arrows are there for. That was my question mark. It's like, why is this happening here? Because I couldn't tell what was going on with astrology. Didn't seem to point in that direction. The Schumann's um, really, the pendulum wasn't picking up on that or solar flares. And it makes a whole lot of sense that boom, there's Hurricane Milton making landfall late Wednesday into Thursday. And so it would make sense. Okay, there's an energy, it's big energy, energy gateway there, energy gateway there with a timeline jump, timeline jump. And I, you know, and I put that together and I didn't think much more of that because this was all making sense. And then later on in today, I began going, oh, well, I want, what's going on next week energetically? I haven't put the astrology together for next week, but take a look at this, guys. The pendulum picked up on timeline jump for Sunday, timeline jump for Monday, timeline jump for Tuesday, timeline jump for Wednesday, Thursday, the timeline jump on the pendulum was at 50%, so I did not mark it down. That means we have one, two, three, four, five, six and a half days of a window of timeline jumps, which means this hurricane and the energy of what it's doing and all of us and everyone that it's affecting both directly and indirectly, we are feeling it as a collective and it's causing the energetics. You know, to me, this looks at, you know, ripping open the space time continuum energetically for those of us who are sensitive and pick up on these things. So the reason I'm putting this out tonight is my spirit team definitely wanted me to begin to sound the alarm so that highly sensitive people who really will be feeling this have an opportunity to get prepared, not only for the energetics, you know, physically for the hurricane, but the energetics of what the hurricane is going to be um, causing all of us along, along this um, uh, th through, through these days. Now, I would love, I would love to hear from other, you know, I'd love other psychics or channelers or the timeline jump people to weigh in on this. I have been tracking these charts probably since, oh, midsummer. So I'm just really beginning to get the hang of it. And during the time that I've been doing this, I've never seen six of these stack up together. Um, Spirit Team is not channeling to me tonight. Um, they, they're telling me that they will talk with me tomorrow. So they want me to get this out tonight so people can begin to digest this. And I will do a channel with spirit team tomorrow so that they can begin to weigh in on some of, um, what is going on here with this. And this is not a fear based thing, people. This is an information based thing so that you can prepare and have an understanding of how this, um, might be affecting you, even if you're not in the path, um, of the hurricane. So, um, 
prayers and safety to those um, who are dealing with Hurricane Milton and also Hurricane Helene survivors. Our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Um, we hope you're doing what you can do to be safe. And I will be uh, back on the app tomorrow with um, as much information as I can provide that um, my spirit team is going, going to be giving me. All right. Have a good evening, folks. Mwah. See you in the next video.